pattern development for this truncated hexagonal pyramid. All right, so how do we develop the pattern? The very first thing is to produce uh, the plan. All right, and in producing the plan, I'm going to measure from this area 10 mm, 10 mm. All right, I'm going to, all right, so I haven't done that. Uh, the radius of our pyramid is 26, which is this. Radius 26, which is this. So coming here, I'm producing the plan, all right? Right, so after developing the plan, we draw this towards each other. Right, so I'm going to use 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 over 6. So having done that, the next procedure is extend from the top here, you understand, to this bottom here, all right? Yeah, the full height of the prism. So let me develop the pattern somewhere here. Let me develop it here, okay? So, I haven't done that. I'm going to uh, close it somewhere here. Let me close it somewhere here, all right? Yeah, that's my point zero, okay? So I'm going to pick one of the sides, all right? Yeah, pick one of the sides. I'm going to step it off six times. One, two, five, and six. I haven't done that. I'm going to drag it to uh, the center here, all right? Each of the points. All right. So, point one, two, three, four, five, and what, and six. All right. So the next is to pick from the top of the pyramid. The, then to point to this point here, the first point T. All right. Placing it at the point here also. All right. And I'm going to what? I'm going to draw an arc as it is. Right, I haven't drawn that. I'm going to rule that out with my ruler in this form. Okay, so I haven't done that. I'm going to pick up my C square. You understand? I'm going to extend these points here. Yeah, this point here, I'm going to extend it outwards. All right, here it has been truncated here. I'm going to extend this one also what? outwards. All right, so I haven't done that. You take note that point zero, point zero and six lie on this plane here. All right, point one and five lie on this plane here. So this area is what? Zero over six. This area is what? One over five. Point two and four lies on this plane here so this area is what points two and four while uh point theory lies here so this area is what point theory okay so i haven't done that I'm area is where uh point zero over six this area is where what point what this area is our point one over five while 
this area is our point our point two over four and this area is three so my point zero and six from the apex to the tp all right that's my point zero and six so placing it here point zero and point six all right so that's it i'm going to asterisk it okay likewise from the apex of my uh, pyramid to point what point one and five you can use it. point one and five which is here okay so placing it here on point one and on point five i'm going to asterisk it also okay from the apex to this other point here this area and that's for what for point two and point four all right so then placing it here point two and point four all right so i'm going to what asterisk it also point two and four i haven't done that the next thing is to what pick up my ruler and draw out the real pattern i'm going to take it out now all right so from that area to this area to this area yeah to this area to point four or so okay so to point five to point six yeah. all right then i'm going to close it here all right so this is the surface or pattern development of this truncated pyramid thank you